everyone. everyone. Welcome to our very first MedBoy show. We are your hosts, Jasmine, Sarah, and Sean. I hope you're all excited about coming back to school in person just as much as we are. Remember to always keep your mask on unless you are eating and or drinking. Some of the segments we're going to have is a Hispanic Heritage Month, Breast Cancer Awareness, and also a couple of our fundraisers. We are also going to be featuring some of our medical magnet clubs, including Black Student Alliance, Girl Up, Operation Smiles, and Calhosa. Our homecoming game is on October 29th against Panorama, and the homecoming dance is on October 30th. Ticket prices are tentative, but the dance will start at 7 p.m. The dance theme is a dark Alice in Wonderland. ARC will also be planning a Halloween maze, so make sure to stay tuned for more information on that. And Halloween is on Sunday. We can't wait to see all of you in your costumes on social media. Now, let's move on to our very first segment. Hey everyone, it's Ashfia, and I'm super excited because Medboard's doing Turkey Trials again this year. So, if you didn't know, Turkey Trials are fun trivia based games where homes go up against each other doing one of the games, and then the winner of that round, of that little session, will go on to the next round, and we'll keep doing that with all the medical magnet homerooms until we get a Turkey Trial champion. So, the Turkey Trial champion will get a special prize, and you want to stay tuned for that. Also, we have a Spirit Week in spirit of the turkey trials. So we have information about that on our Instagram at JFK Mudboard. So good luck to all of you homerooms. May fate be on your side. Hi everyone, it's Shane with the fundraisers of the month. On October 29th, we will have an all day fundraiser at La Michoacana and Mudboard will also be hosting a Halloween scavenger hunt this month. Participation in the scavenger hunt does require an entry fee. QR codes will be posted all around school later this month for entry. For every entry you provide, your name will be entered in a raffle, and the winner of the raffle will receive a $100 Amazon gift card. For more information for either of these fundraisers, please check out our Instagram at JFK Medboard. Bye! Good morning and welcome back to Learning Tips, where I, Parkin, will provide you with some valuable learning tips that will help you along your academic journeys. Today, we'll be talking about being physically prepared for back in person school. The first tip, remember to drink lots of water. Wearing a mask all day can make you forget to take a drink, so remind yourself to drink more water whenever you can. Other things that you can do to be more physically prepared is eating a healthy and good breakfast that is low in simple sugars and fulfills all necessary food groups. In addition, sleep well. Teens should get at least 8 to 10 hours of she per night. As an added bonus, the trick to waking up awake and energized is to follow the 90 minute rule. This is a method of timing your sleep so you can wake up at the end of a REM cycle. One full cycle lasts an average of 90 minutes. So that means you can count back by multiples of 90 to find the ideal sleep time. That's all from learning tips. Now on to the next section. Every year since 1989, Hispanic Heritage Month begins on September 15th and ends on October 15th because September 15th is a significant day in the history of multiple Latin American countries. It is divided into two months. This is when Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua declared their independence from Spain in 1821. Hispanic Heritage Month, like Black History Month in February and Asian Pacific Islander Month in May, is a time for Hispanic Americans to highlight their traditions and history that are distinctive to the cultural background. Here are five ways to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. One, support Hispanic Latin owned businesses. Two, play a game of loteria or dominoes. Three, make a playlist of Hispanic artists and listen to Spanish music. Four, Binge watch a Spanish language TV show. Five, visit a museum that highlights Hispanic and Latin culture. Hello everybody, it's Skelly, and Medboard has asked me to host their Family Feud, and I'm honored. So let's get to it. If you don't know how Family Feud works, here's a quick summary. We have two teams competing against each other. They're both given a question. Their objective is to find the most common answers. The team that finds the most common answers wins the round. But first and foremost, let's meet our hosts. That's Maisel, and that's David. Now, let's meet our two teams. On the right over there is the media committee, and on the left, that's Student Life. Let's invite up our first two contestants, Sarah and Skylar. Name a type of building where it always seems to be cold. Uh, 
Where they keep all the dead bodies at? Um, the the freezer sections and like the cafeteria, like those big like cabinet things. An office building. Oh wait, wait. A deli. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, we are not able to show you the whole round. So, spoiler alert: the media committee won the first round. But here is a little snippet of the student life committee's committee cam. Let's take a look, everybody. Now let's move on to round two. Our next two contestants are Jasmine and Emily. Other than feet, name something that runs. Uh, Miss MFA animal. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> a car. Name something that runs. A nose. A washing machine. Everybody. It looks like the Student Life Committee takes this round. But let's take a look at the Media Committee's committee cam. Anything? Anything? Wow! Both of our committees have tied up with one point each. Now we have to have a tiebreaker. The Media Committee sent up Ashvia and the Student Life Committee sent up Ziomara. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, we can't show you the tiebreaker round, but the media committee did end up winning. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this week, and next month, come back again to see our next Family Feud. See you later, everyone. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching our October Medical Monday video. We hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to click on that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. We'll see you guys next month with another segment. Bye, everyone.